I've got a slideshow on YouTube showing my trailer, uh, my camping trailer that I built out of a Harbor Freight 4x8 trailer. Um, I told a couple people I was going to do a video of it, so here's my attempt. I'm going to show you, try to show you what I've got. I'm going to start in the front here. And here's the trailer itself. If you haven't seen it, it's like I said, it's 4x8. And on the front, I added this box here. And this is where I house all the electrical and stuff. And I'm not an electrician, so bear with me. <laughs> I don't have the battery in it right now. Um, but I've made the mount right here. I put the battery here. That's the brackets that hold it down. <clears throat> um, this box is hinged on the bottom with a um, piano hinge and for the top i just put two screws one there and one there when i pop those screws out it folds down and i can access everything in the panel these are 12 volt sockets five of them just because i wanted to and i didn't really have to have that many and i definitely didn't need the power switches but i you know each one of these doesn't run until i turn that on I didn't, uh, I was just playing, went ahead and bought, these were really cheap on U uh, on uh, eBay, so I went ahead and bought those. Um, this hooks to the battery, and it goes up and powers everything here, and also connects to this, and these connect to the inverter, and I can utilize the inverter, or I can uh, plug this part here in, which is wired to this 12 volt socket or this uh, 110 here which is outside and it's wired to one on the inside which is goes inside the trailer this is nothing more than a light switch on the inside of this um, it's just a, a waterproof box there and a wired uh, that goes to the 12 volt down here but it runs over and powers my uh, sure flow pump um, and the pump, this is just a quick connect, got a little water in it now, but, uh, that is, that's just a cap there, but anyway, that's, that connects the, uh, to the water hose, and that was a little difficult to plumb in back there, but, uh, so you can see, it goes in there and comes out down there and goes into my um water tank bought the water tank off ebay it's 21 gallon i put it right in front of the axle and this metal part here is a bed rail that i cut and the purpose of that is if i hit a, a blown tire or something going down the road hopefully that would protect the corner of that uh tank so i also have a uh, battery tender solar charger here and i don't know if you can see the light blinking but it is charging with a lot of extra wire and here is my solar panel it's i think it's a five watt it doesn't do a whole lot um i made the little brackets here and essentially what i could do uh is pop out two brackets and this will pop right off and there's a plug on the back of this and I could unplug it here and that plugs just like this then I unplug it here and this could go I think it's eight feet ish something like that um, so where we camp now is very shaded and the idea behind it was to uh, be able to take the solar panel to a, a more sunny spot uh, you know just move it around as the shade moves or sun moves through the day I also added a couple flashlight chargers you never can't have too many flashlights and this is uh, my, my father-in-law gave me the solar panel and uh, that just shows the charge off the, off the solar panel that came with it also I think it came off of his old uh, motorhome so 
The uh, inverter I have is a Duralast 1000 watt and it works great. So, so this would be considered a battery box, I guess. I put a, uh, a vent because you, all, you gotta have your, you always want your battery boxes vented. Um, it's just aluminum around it. Um, and this is a hurricane hinge. I was concerned more about leaking here than anywhere. Uh, I don't know that it's waterproof. Uh, this is just a door, well, like for the front door of your house type rubber here. And then I have a hurricane hinge. Um, I bought that off eBay as well. So I don't know that it's waterproof, but it's definitely water resistant. All the corners of the trailer I, I covered in uh, aluminum angle. This is flat aluminum that I had to put on there because it's, it's a, a strange angle there. <clears throat> um, these rubber straps I bolted there and then I bought these little hooks put in there and that's how I hunker it down and of course I keep a lock on it. Uh, moving on back, these are aluminum um, racks from a water containers. Let me get those right quick. Okay, these aluminum racks, these are just uh, three pieces, actually four pieces of aluminum. A piece of angle here and some aluminum strips here. Uh, riveted these together here uh, and bolted them in here to the wood. They are, uh, like I said, I made it. I just took measurements of my container and uh, put it on in a vise and bent it as I felt like it needed to be. And it, you can see here, fits perfect. And those aren't coming out, but I put a little eye hook there and this little strap, just in case the wind would catch it just right. Made two of those, and they're on the driver's side, two water containers. Bought this off eBay. Uh, it's just a water fill, it's got a breather here. Um, that's where I feel the fresh water goes straight down to the tank. This is on the driver's side as well. Um, I've taken my fender off because it was really close. Last time I loaded this trailer, it was really close to the tire. Um, I'm soon going to mount the fender back, but it's going to be mounted at maybe an inch higher. I made this uh, bracket here and bolted it to the trailer, just a spare tire. Um, I didn't want to have to carry it on the inside of the trailer. I'm trying to utilize as much space as possible. If you mount a tire, if you make a tire mount to the side of your trailer, you, I've got about a three eighths of an inch gap there. If you don't do that, water will get inside and it's gonna puddle up and, and, and just hold. So make sure you keep a gap there. This is uh, the size, the whole trailer is made of one by six tongue and groove and it's darkened up it was really light last year um, the weather's allowed it to darken up a little bit i didn't put any type of finish on it other than uh, thompson's water seal um, i coated it last year and then i coated it again last week these hinges here honestly i'm not happy with this part uh, i think if it's going to leak anywhere it's going to be on this side and my goal is to probably remove these four strap hinges remove this aluminum strip and buy a hurricane hinge for this side so that will take care of that and these are reinforced on the inside with aluminum so that it's just not against the wood also uh, this is a four by eight sheet of plywood as a top and this is a luggage rack off of a toyota forerunner i went to the junkyard a pull apart yard and purchased that for 20 bucks I brought it, just centered it up, and mounted it on there. Um, and then this is just nothing more than a plastic fishing rod rack that I zip tied to the luggage rack. Uh, I don't carry a lot on top, but I do carry, I've got a pole that uh, I use to keep the plastic up. Uh, we cover the tent or the campsite in plastic. Um, I've got a, a pole that holds that up in the center really high that I keep up here. I keep my fishing rods up here, obviously, and I could carry pretty much anything else up here. Um, 
go around to the back and a buddy of mine had started a uh, rack for the for the back of his SUV and uh, he ended up selling his SUV so he finished the rack out it's three foot long and four foot wide so it fits perfect on the back of the trailer and I'm able actually to haul a lot more um, and it has pins I could slide it off if I needed to <laughs> but this is the rack and I put an eye bolt on each corner you can see that um, it's really sturdy so that's usually where my, uh, my little sewage tank that I take and uh, uh, propane tanks and such go, go there this I uh, this is just a camping symbol I made that painted it on a piece of plywood and clear coated it real well just because I put two latches on this uh, just to help keep it sturdy up this is a, a tongue and groove here I had to rip this or rather route the edge so that this this is plywood edging aluminum here so I had to route the edge so that would actually fit um, but that fit it's just tongue and groove on a one by four with the hinges comes down the chain holds it I can stand on that walk on it you can see in the trailer the uh, aluminum right here is where the spare tires mounted the aluminum strips up there are reinforcing the um, hinges and the box there is where the pipe comes in and goes into the uh, water uh, the water tank on the bottom also you can see there's a table mounted right there and you can see my uh, plug-in at the front of the front of the trailer I just it's a half inch plywood on the bottom I just painted it with a decking paint um, I have two counters made ones right here and I'll put those on in a little bit and it has a hinge right here and you pop the pin in that hinge and that's what these hinges right here are for they hold the counter on the side of the trailer once we're set up it has a lock here and again aluminum around on the front corner of this side of the top again I just bolted a strap there or correction that's the back corner and this is the front corner and the hinge here these bolts here are for the table on the inside so give me a second I'll lift up the top and let you see what's on the inside all right my uh, trailer with the lid open this is to the passenger side of the trailer you can see uh, I got some black rubber uh, the liquid I can't remember what it's called now but covering the bolts where it came in from the roof rack that's what's there and there you can see the hinges how they're reinforced I've got a strip around around the lid so that it, it fits snugly right here on the on the top of the edge these are just aluminum angle and I made those little brackets up there and uh, it just this one's just sitting right here it's not going anywhere um, we've used it a lot I have velcro on the back and when I lift it up and want to uh, close the lid I just simply swing this over there to that velcro and it stays right up no problem and the same here and this one's actually on top of this corner piece right here um, again they're not going anywhere what I've done in case a wind does come and tries to catch it it's pretty heavy um, actually but I just put a strap I brought an extra strap and it fits perfect here hooks to the hook up here the rubber strap and then connects it and and it's there I just, that's how it, it stays all the time um, now this is the counter I just made this uh, rack to hold that yesterday um, 
the counter, what I was doing is loading the trailer, and then the last thing I put in was the counter or the, the table or whatever you'd call it to go on the side of the trailer. And it would sit on top of everything that was loaded, and I was always worried about it being warped or getting messed up. Um, so I made the rack to hold the longest one. I don't have a rack to load to hold the shortest one, but uh, you know, at least the longest one's out of the way. The shortest one's pretty easy to deal with. So, also, I got a, uh, a jack here that I added to it. It's just a uh, little four by eight. It's actually a fold up trailer. I did add leveler here and one on the front. And these are 785 pound tires, 12 inch tires. They're 4.80, 12. I'm going to change those out uh, before my next trip. I may go with a 530 12 that's like uh, 1,080 something pound. Um, I feel good about the trailer hauling it. I just I was worried about the tires last time. So I'll show you the counters on the side now. Okay, took me a little bit longer than normal because I grabbed the wrong piece of aluminum that didn't even belong. So anyway, um, this is the counter that fits in that rack and it's pretty sturdy. I have a piece of aluminum here and it just screws into the, to the uh, top here and screws into the side. I always carry a cordless drill with me. Whether I had this or not, I'd be carrying that. Um, this is just a piece of plywood with aluminum wrapped around it and uh, painted real good. Uh, it tends to work really well. And here I have another piece of aluminum with an attachment that just allows this to sit on the side of this. This aluminum is holding this up, but the piece of angle mounted to the side of it is what holds this. And then around here I have a piece. So it's just three pieces of aluminum angle that I carry with me and it supports all this. You can see, when I push on this, it rocks the trailer. Now, um, again, this is held on this side with a hinge, and this one's held with two hinges. Um, the hinges work great. They make something to, to attach a table to the side of a trailer. And I looked at it on eBay, and it was more money than I wanted to pay for it. I bought these hinges for a couple dollars a piece, and that works great. If you want to use a hinge, I suggest grinding the hinge, the hinge pin. Uh, hinge pin is not made to come out easy. So if you will grind it uh, just a little bit and maybe put a little oil on it, it'll pop right out with your hand. Um, this is just a plastic tub we've had for years and uh, seemed like the perfect size. So I cut this hole in here to fit perfect with that. Um, we run a water hose from the front and uh, just across the bottom, across the ground, and bring it up here, and this is how we wash dishes or whatever. Um, that's about it. Again, now you can see the rack without the, uh, the countertop in it. And these edges are pretty sharp, but so far we've been, been able to avoid getting cut by them. I employed my wife to finish the video, so she's videoing me now. Anything else you can think of, Susan? I don't know what all you've, all you've done. You've done everything. Didn't know. <laughs> anyway, it works great. We generally leave this top up. Um, we'll cover this whole thing with a tarp uh, up well over <laughs> head high so that this doesn't, uh, um, so that doesn't hit the tarp. I do need to show you this one other thing. This table I showed you from the back, my mother-in-law gave me this. This was on her deck. And it just comes up and stays up. So uh, we usually put our snacks or something right there, something easy access, forks and spoons. It's just a plastic table that mounts in there. And to let it down, you pull out on it and it drops right down.
pull it up. Hold it on this end. Pull it straight up and push it in. And you couldn't, it wouldn't, I don't think it'd hold a lot of weight, but everything we need to set on it is, is perfect. Um, it sits right here, it won't slide off because the foot mounted it low enough. But uh, if you want to let it down, just pull it out on it and drops right down. So that's pretty much it. Now, I showed you that if you push on this, it rocks the trailer. We have uh, just have these regular jack stands, uh, and we'll level up the trailer when we get there. We'll level up the four corners, and it'll be really sturdy. So, one more walk around. Electrical box, water containers on the sides. Again, you just measure this. I think this was like seven inches by 14, something like that. Um, pretty easy to make, just use a vise. Put them in the, uh, get your measurements, put it in the vise, and bend it. Once you bend it down, you need to use a hammer to, to really get it on the edge. That way you make a sharp, a sharp corner as, as opposed to just a rounded corner. Um, this, I put this piece right here. Uh, this is so that this can have something to lay against, kind of seal this part, and also for this, but mainly so that there wouldn't be a lot of, uh, it kind of keep these two back corners together. Close it up perfect, just like that. Get that out of the way, that comes right up. And then the lock goes there. So, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, send them to me in the comments below. I'll answer everything the best I can. Don't forget to like it if you like, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.